How the giraffe got its spots. It was a sunny morning. Dora the giraffe was a fairly strong giraffe who shockingly hadn't got a sense of humour. Banjora the elephant was a sneaky, mysterious elephant who was always plotting things. They all live in the beautiful tropical jungle that they've never met yet. Dora was an unusual plain giraffe. He had no spots. He's always sad. He has no friends. Dorak only has enemies. Suddenly, he could hear the lovely birds tweeting. They always told him when to go on his walks. Now it was time. Therefore, he quickly got ready. He begged desperately not to trip over. As the sun shone more and more, he decided to set off very happily. While he set off, he heard the ferocious whistling wind, which he nearly tripped over him. Unfortunately, he didn't want to. Dorak walks in the beautiful jungle every day without fail. So Dorak strolled along calmly. Then, suddenly, there was some sort of cyber creature roaming around quietly. As quick as a flash, it was in front of him. Um, hello? whispered Dorak nervously. Strangely, there was no answer. Hello, I'm Banjora, shouted Banjora fastly. Suddenly he fell over with fright. Amazingly, he nev- he's never normally scared of anything. Eventually, Dorak realised he was jealous because he had no spots, so he was the odd one. Whereas, he was, si- he was silly, he gets bad attention. He was terrified of it. He's always getting laughed at. But he, but he stayed strong. As the velvet leaves fell deli- delicately like blankets, he sat on the damp grass. Because it was so silky, he fell asleep. He looked at Dora. That's not the best time to go to sleep around Banjora. So, a bad time. Banjora ran frantically before getting caught of what, of what she was up to. What was it? At this point, Dora had woken up. Good timing. He wasn't happy. I'm terrified. Where's Banjora? She must be up to something. He whispered nervously. In the middle of the day, Banjor got mad and angry. He ran as quick as lightning and hid behind a bush. On the other hand, in great timing for Banjora, Doric decided to go home. He walked past slowly. Suddenly, Banjora jumped out of nowhere and pushed him in in a brown soggy pile of smelly mud. Ha ha ha, he bellowed loudly. Oh no, Banjora, why? He, he screamed. After a few minutes, lots of different shaped and sized animals gathered around him. That's hilarious, shouts a zebra who doesn't stop giggling. Oh my, you smell and you're so clumsy, shouts a cheetah, cheetah laughing tremendously loud. It's not funny, fellow Dorak. Oh, yes it is, shouted Banjora with an evil smirk. He got upset and ran home extremely fast. While he was running, he still heard all those mean people laughing and pointing at him. (laughs) Ha ha ha! He was so far away, but yet he still heard them loudly, even when he had reached his house. He got upset. He was also annoyed. He ran in his house fast and hid in an empty, empty space. Why isn't this mud coming off? Why is it? Dorit gets home. The sticky, gooey mud wouldn't come off. They stayed and formed into spots. What's happening? He screamed. Why is it staying? He bellowed. Dorit decided he's starting to like the spots a lot. The mud looked like real spots and he wasn't the odd one out anymore. Yet, he realised it wasn't mud. He tasted it. It was um, some sort of potion. Yuck! Banjura wasn't glad at all. He wanted to make Dorak mad with his sneaky plan. Eventually, Dorak was starting to like his fluffy furry spots. He thought maybe he now has spots, he won't get laughed at by everyone else anymore because he's not the odd one out. 
He was starting to get amazingly normal like everyone else. In particular, that's how the giraffe, Dorak, got his spectacular spots. And that's how the giraffe got its spots by Sophie and Hannah.